Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your boy, Mr. Smilgood, coming to you from the beautiful island of Jamaica. To all my returning residents, I want to thank you so much for staying loyal. And to those of you who are firstly tuning in, I hope you enjoy your stay and smash that subscribe button. Today's video, guys, is going to be a comparison between two fragrance brands. One is the Luxor brand and the other one is the Inspiration brand. Zerzhov versus Alexander Fragrances. And these two fragrances are a love for me and I want to share my experience with these two fragrances. I'm going to be talking about the price. I'm going to compare the note breakdown. I'm going to compare the performance, the longevity, the complement factors. I'm going to give you guys the nine yard, all right? So if you're interested in any content like that, keep on watching. <music> So the fragrances I want to introduce y'all to is going to be Zerzhov Herbapura Gold, which is this one here. This is their version, or should I say, this is more an intense version of the Herbapura, which um, and the inspiration that I'm going to be talking about is the Alexandra Fragrances Tropical Aura Gold. These two fragrances are an amazing, amazing, amazing representation of vanilla, fruits, sweetness, everything edible everything sexy everything seductive and i want to share my experience with these two fragrances to start this review off or this comparison i'm going to be talking about the zerja first we're going to look at the note breakdown and then we're going to look at the tropical aura side by side followed in by the pricing as well so let's go all right so let's take a look at the note breakdown for the herba pura gold so it says this fragrance it was released back in 2016 um the top notes are brazilian orange sicilian lemon Calabrian, um, Calabrian, Bergamot, and Ginger. The middle note, Melon, Pear, Green Apple, Cinnamon, and um, I'm seeing Guatemala, Cardamom, and Cloves. The base note, I'm seeing White Musk, Amber, Madagascar, Vanilla, and Woodsy note. All right, to my nose, I get peach. I get some exotic fruits. I'm definitely getting the bright, but it's more of a juicy, seductive. This reminds me of an intense version of a vanillic cocktail. Simple as that. Vanillic cocktail with some ice name. This is super sweet, super duper tropical. It's exotic in smelling, amazing fragrance. Now, let's look at the Alexandra fragrance. The Alexandra fragrance was released earlier this year, which is 2024. I think it was recently released about... Probably about two months ago, one to two months ago, if I should say. Um, but this fragrance now, the notes, the top notes, Amalfi Lemon, I'm seeing Calabrian, Bergamot, Brazilian Orange, and Ginger. The hard note, I'm seeing Green Apple, Melon, Pear, Cloves, Guatemala, and Cardamom, Madagascar, Cinnamon. The base note, White Musk, Amber, Madagascar, Vanilla, and Woods. So it's safe to say that both of these fragrances share similar note breakdown with just one and two minor changes between both of them. Nonetheless, I'm getting the same vibe from both of them. Now let's look at the pricing. The Zerzhov Herbapura, as much as how it retails for about 235 or up on the official website, uh, that's retail, you can find this product for about 100 and. 50 170 dollars there about for this fragrance this is a 50 ml bottle so you will find a little bit cheaper on discounters the alexandra fragrance the price ranges from about 40 something dollars to about 80 something dollars on their website however if you are purchasing from some local persons you might get a little bit pricier based on the importation and based on the, pro the profit markup and everything like that. So these two fragrances nonetheless amazing so if you are going to compare apples to oranges or should i say prices Alexandra fragrance based on the scent profile will be a lot cheaper or should I say more affordable for some persons All right, now let's look at the scent overall to my nose All right, I'm going to tell you it's a one-to-one -one ratio. I ain't gonna cap One-to-one -one freaking ratio. The only difference is that this one is a tad bit stronger than this one when I smell it That's the only difference the scent that I'm getting from both of these fragrances are illuminating breathtaking amazing sexy yo guys you have to try it for yourself to believe trust me when i tell you that these two fragrances neck and neck when i spray them i'm getting the similar freaking vibe in fact i'm going to share and um, i'm going to share an example with you this fragrance when it was released i think two months ago i got a sample however the label was it was uh messed up so i couldn't tell what it was but when i smelled it i was actually on live and i'm like yo what fragrance is this i'm saying it's reminding me of Herba Pura, but a more intense version. And I was like, but 
I never knew they were they were working on the original. They were working on Herba Gold. So I was a little bit confused and I'm like, why am I smelling Herba Pura Gold? And I reached out to Honey Affairs and I was like, I got a sample, however, the label was distorted. I can't see anything on the label. And it smells to me like Tropical Aura Gold, which is Herba Pura Gold. And he said, yes, they have just completed it and he's now sending out sample, uh, samples. And I was like, oh shit. I could not believe how close that freaking fragrance was to this one. When I got my bottle, I'm telling you, I am freaking in love. I love to wear these two fragrances. Love, 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 love to wear this or this. Either one and I'm fully satisfied. Let's look at now the performance. These two freaking fragrances perform next to identical. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am not going to lie. In fact, here's the catch. I've worn this fragrance several times and I've only gotten about one compliment when this fragrance. I've worn this fragrance only two times and so far I've gotten over three compliments wearing this fragrance alone. I'm going to add a clip to this video where I was at my friend's beauty salon over the weekend and I was trying to record something and she was actually asking me what I was wearing. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with this This was the fragrance I was wearing, Alexandra's version, Tropical Ira Gold. Amazing stuff. So, I'm not questioning if this will get me compliments. It probably be up because I went around different persons. They might like it, they might not like it. I feel like they need to tell me that I smell good because it's not something that they, they resonate with. You understand what I'm saying? But nonetheless, this fragrance will definitely get a compliment just as much as this as well. So it just depends on the setting, the environment that you're in and the people that you're around. Simple as that. The projection, these two fragrances project over 15 feet easily. I kid you not. The Siage, amazing scent trail. Not to mention, guys, in terms of transferring the scent, when you hug someone, the scent will definitely transfer to them as well. So I've touched on the... Projection, I've touched on the siage, I've touched on the compliments. Now look at the let's look at the longevity. The only thing is that so far I'm getting a tad bit longer longevity from this one that I'm getting on the Alexandra fragrance. I'm smelling this one in my clothing up to several weeks. This one gives me several days. I'm not going to lie, but nonetheless, people, you don't know you have to do your laundry, so it doesn't matter how long the fragrance stays in your clothes. For. As long as you wash it and you're perfectly satisfied, that is good with me. I love both of these two fragrances and I'm going to give them a solid 10 out of 10 for both fragrances. If you want a cheaper alternative or should I say a more affordable alternative of Herba Pura Gold, get Alexandra version. This is Tropical Ara Gold. If you can afford to purchase the Herba Pura, get it. You will not be satisfied. You will not be dissatisfied, guys. I'm telling you, love these two fragrances nonetheless and I'm going to recommend them to anyone out there who likes to smell tropical, who likes vanilla, who likes to be playful, seductive, Mouth watering good. Listen to me, guys. Try it for yourself and let me know in the comment section what you think. As always, thank you so much for your time, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and share the video as well. Peace. I am out.